What's up fam? I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You're on my show, The Iron Palace. We run every Tuesday for you. We're talking about everything regarding your training life. Today, we're going to talk about training in bikini for the hourglass figure. That hourglass shape is everything in bikini. And I'm going to tell you three things you got to know if you're trying to get it dialed, you're trying to get it right so you can win your shows, go pro, whatever you're trying to do. Do me a favor, fam. Subscribe to the channel and then share out the video. Remember, this is just one of the five awesome shows I run all week for you every single week. I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. You are on the Iron Palace. Alright, so those of you bikini competitors out there, you already know this, and those of you that are looking to come into it, you're going to learn this. Bikini is all about that hourglass shape. And now you might say, what do we talk, what does that even mean, man, hourglass? Well, you guys know what an hourglass looks like, right? It's wider at the bottom, narrow in the middle, wider at the top. And guess what else it is? It's symmetrical. Guess what the number one thing the judges want to see in bikini is? That hourglass shape. It's all about that shape, that foundation of muscle, and the ability to present that to the degree the division requires, all right? I know a lot of bikini girls, you know, they're drawn in circles, running around trying to get shredded lean, trying to always worry about being so lean, but they lack the muscle, they lack the shape. The shape comes from building the muscle. So today I wanna to give you three tips of how to get that bikini competitor hourglass physique on point. Tip number one, understand that you gotta have the right muscular proportions. All right, when we look at an hourglass physique on a bikini competitor, what we're really talking about is well-developed upper body and well-developed lower body coming into a very narrow and tight waist. That, in other words, provides us with such hourglass. Now, when we're talking about upper body development, though, we're not talking about just every single muscle, right? Bikini competitors don't need to get huge biceps. They don't need that. That's not going to help. How do you get an hourglass is you get width. So we're talking about training the shoulders in the right manner to create this development where basically when you hit a front pose, either variances of the front poses, you're going to see width happen here. You're going to get that hourglass presented. That comes from upper body development in the shoulders, okay? And now I know a lot of people are going to say, no, bikini competitors should do a lot of lap pull downs. They should do tons and tons of back. Hey, you're not being scored on your back. It helps provide your shape, but you're not being scored on it. The judges are not sitting there, your hair's on your back, they're not looking at your back, all right? And I know even more so, bikini competitors always, you know, questioning whether they should be training chest or not, or some coaches saying they should. Hey, they're not scoring your damn chest, all right? It's not being scored. What they're looking for is this shape, this width. You will be just judged on that, okay? So you got to know how to train the shoulders in the right manner, train the upper body overall. You still need to work the triceps. You're still going to need to work the back. You still got to do some biceps and other, you know, upper body exercises. But the point is the way you really get the hourglass started is by that width. So remember that. Now, guess what we're talking about as we work down the body? Well, to create an hourglass, we got to narrow in the waist. So you got to be able to have a very narrow waist. Obviously, the wider you get up top, the more narrow you your waist will appear. Same at the base. If you get a wider base, bigger glutes, bigger legs, you're going to look more narrow in the middle. All right. Now, there are other things you can do to actually narrow your physique. And I know a lot of competitors, they don't know anything about it. A lot of coaches, you know, they're doing weird stuff. They're not even talking about this kind of stuff. But there are plenty of ways you can actually narrow in your abdominals. Make sure that you don't train your abdominals too much for one, right? The more that you hypertrophy your abdominals, the more that you kind of add these layers of muscle. And eventually you get wide, 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 wide. Now, most of the time this comes from doing stuff weighted and doing too much of whatever, you know, like the classic uh, physique at the, the far, far extremes of this abdominal hypertrophy would be like these strong men. And I know you guys watch the strong men and you're like, whoa, that guy's just fat. He's got a big bubble gut. No, it's actually muscle. They actually have trained their core so much, you know, lifting these immense, crazy, heavy loads that they've hypertrophied their abs that much. Obviously, bikini, bikini competitors, we're never going to do this, right? That's never going to happen. You're not out there doing 1,000 pound lifts or anything. But if you train your abdominals with weight too often, too much, you start to actually hypertrophy them. And when you do that, 
you widen out your waist. So, you know, you got to know which exercises you need to be doing and you don't want to use weight. And then you also want to bring in one of my favorite exercises. I have so many people do bikini competitors or not, which is vacuums. All right. And vacuums are so great and so long forgotten. I've probably done 10, 20 videos on them on this channel. Uh, again, I have most of my clients and athletes, regardless of their goals, doing these because they're just great for so many reasons, even beyond aesthetics. But the classic vacuum, you know, where you draw your stomach in, you let out your air and you hold that. That, that trains your inner abdominal weight belt. Your TVA is what it's called. This is in the area of your midsection. You can't train doing crunches or leg lifts or flutter kicks, any of that. You can only train this by actually working on your breathing and you know doing vacuums and things like that. And guess what this does for you on stage? Well, one, it's actually going to narrow in your waist because it's naturally pulling everything back in. It's not like a waist trainer or anything doing that. It's a natural way to get that same type of effect though. And it gives you better abdominal control on stage, which is massive, ladies, massive that you don't be out there breathing through your gut, or once you get tired, you break position, and now you you know your whole midsection's gone. This helps you a lot, and vacuums is one of many ways you can create that right aesthetic in the midsection. Basically, though, it's got to be narrow. I know I'm probably hitting you guys with way too much stuff. Maybe take some notes or whatever. But then we move into the lower body, right? To shape out an hourglass, we got to have width up top, which we talked about. You got to have narrowness in the middle, which we just talked about, and then we have to talk about about the lower body. Notice how everything we've talked about so far actually comes down to the muscle development, right? We're talking about more muscular development up top, specifically in the shoulders to widen out, less in the middle to narrow it in, doing the right types of exercise to get the right look, but not hypertrophying it. And then at the uh, the base, the bottom, the glutes, the quads, the hamstrings, the lower body, we gotta have, guess what? Balance, this has to balance up top. An hourglass is balanced. They wanna see symmetry, shape, size, and proportion match in a bikini competitor in the bikini division this is what the judges are looking for so you got to match you got to have the right level of glute development that you're going to match when your shoulder in the front pose and in the back pose when they look down here and they're seeing the quad sweep you got to know how to train the glutes the right way the legs the right way the hamstrings the right way the quads the right way every part of the lower body the right way to attain the correct physique the correct balance, the correct look, that correct hourglass, it all comes down to the muscular development, okay? And again, this can be overdone or it can be underdone. And this we see in competitors all the time. Competitors come on stage, way too much muscle, puts you out of category for that division. Can't come on stage with too much muscle as a bikini competitor, it's gonna score you down. You're gonna need to go to a different class, maybe wellness or uh, figure, any of the other classes maybe. If you have too much muscle, you're not gonna fit the category, the criteria, right? And also if you come in with less, we see this all the time. Girls so worried about being shredded, they sacrifice all the muscle they burn, their coaches put them on these crazy crash diets, blah, 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 they lose it all. And they come in lean, they look shredded. You see every vein in their body, but you can't see any of that shape. When you put them in a the front pose, they look like a plank of wood, not an hourglass, okay? So you gotta understand, first rule, and I know I've just talked for a very long time about that, but the first rule is the hourglass shape, it comes from that muscular development. One, two, three. Number two tip when we're talking about that hourglass shape comes really down to conditioning, okay? Once you got the right muscle, and I'm kind of giving you guys this in tears here. Hopefully this is very, you know, helping you out. You coaches out there, I know a lot of coaches watch my channel, get a lot out of it. Awesome, thank you for being here. You competitors, I hope you're getting something out of it too, even if you're self-coaching, whatever. Point is, it comes down to these levels being in this order also. So keep that in the back of your head. Number two would be conditioning, okay? And why would conditioning come involved? Well, to be your best bikini competitor, it's a combination of, guess what, number one, having the right muscle, getting that shape, and then bringing the right conditioning to show it. Because here's the truth, you can train all damn year for an hourglass shape, you can train all year. If you show up on stage day with the wrong conditioning, it's not gonna show to the effect that it would, okay? And this is what I'm saying, literally, five, 10 pound difference in weight on an athlete, on a bikini competitor, in body fat, can make a dramatic shift in the, in the difference of the hourglass from the shoulders to the waist, because the waist, guess what, ladies? You all know if you've ever 
ever done a show or if you've dieted, anybody watching, right, you, you've done this stuff. But basically, when you diet down, you get to a point where you're getting so lean, your your waist, your stomach, all that just basically shrinks. It's gone. It's vanished, <laughs> right? You, you hit a pose and you're like, whoa, where did it go? Because it's basically vanished. And any competitor that's got that lean, that's got to that level, that's you know probably won their show if they got to this point, uh, they know what I'm talking about because this is what happens. But if you're coming to stage off, right, your conditioning is off, you don't have the right level, you didn't burn enough body fat, in other words, well, your ratios look a lot less dramatic, right? And that hourglass kind of goes away. If we look at the top Olympians for bikini, which we saw last year, right, if we just look there, but you could look years late, earlier even, don't go too far back, but, you know, in the recent times, we've seen this hourglass become more and more dramatic. You know, it's up here up top, and then it's really narrow on the waist and wider down at the legs, symmetry shape, all that perfect hourglasses, and that comes from the right level of conditioning, okay? That's really how you draw the waist in at the next level, and you make sure every muscle is showing right, all that, because honestly, anybody knows this too, all you compares that ever done a show and gone in off season, came back to the stage, you know how dramatically different your physique looks. Muscle-wise, we don't change a lot, right? We change between improvement seasons and stage seasons, but really what we change the most is body fat. Muscle takes a very long time to build. And even if you took months and months to build it, you're building minute amounts of it compared to how much body fat change you're actually going through, right? So you might have more body fat in the improvement season and look at yourself and say, well, this is not stage ready. And you'll notice your ratios don't look right. Your waist doesn't look right. Your shoulders don't work out, right? You can't see the same level of musculature. And then when you're in prep, you start seeing these changes. Well, when you go on prep, guess what? You're not building more muscle. You're not adding more muscle, you're not hypertrophying anything at that point, all you're doing is cutting body fat. You're basically revealing the muscle that's been under the body fat. And while a lot of times competitors, you know, people get in their head and think, oh, I'm actually making more muscle gains because I'm seeing more muscle, I see my shoulders, I see my abs better, I see my legs. No, you're not. You're not actually building any muscle at this point. If anything, you're probably losing a little bit dieting. But you are, in fact, revealing more muscle and thus that's why it feels like you're actually getting more muscle through this time because the Aesthetically, you can see it, you feel it, you see it happening, but really it comes from that body fat change. So getting your conditioning right for bikini division is absolutely instrumental in creating this hourglass shape. It's what you have to have, and it's also the criteria of the damn division. Now, what might you say is the right level of conditioning then, Coach Rye? Because you just said earlier, you know, people come in off and on, whatever. People do. There's going to be competitors that come in too soft, okay? And if you're too soft, you're not going to score as good as you could have. Uh, a lot of times, even though if you have the right muscle, you're probably score better than you should have even if your uh, conditioning is off because you had the muscle in the shape because that is key that's why I put it first got to have that that is important that is everything in this division then comes in conditioning now, you can also come in too lean, and if you come in too lean, you're going to be scored down. You can't be too lean in bikini division. The right level of conditioning, honestly, shows some lines in the physique, like you can see some shapes, you can see some cuts here and there, you're not seeing splits in any muscle. For example, the shoulders, you don't see the threads of each part of the delt, the quads, you don't want to see splits there at all, but maybe a line down the side of the leg and a front pose, nothing wrong with that. But if you get too lean, you're going to see a lot more, right? Any competitor that's ever competed. Uh, uh, or you've seen this people out there, you've been at shows, maybe I've been to so many shows where this happens, it's crazy. There's absolutely shredded bikini competitors that walk out and you can see every cut in their quad, every you know abdominal muscle, every oblique, every shoulder thread, all that. And people in the audience are like, oh my God, they're gonna win. And you know, competitors leading up to the show looking at everybody's Instagram say, oh, she's gonna win, she's the one. Well, guess what? When you get to the show, they often don't place. They place probably in the last tier and it's because the conditioning is off. They might have had everything right conditioning comes off it can change your physique dramatically okay and so when it comes to bikini what you're looking for is a well conditioned physique meaning you don't have a lot of visible body fat you know when we're looking at a stomach it's flat there's not you know stomach fat there and posterior chain they look at this too can they see any like you know fat going on in the back of your legs the lower glute any of that but realistically, you're still soft as a bikini competitor. You're softer in the sense compared to every other division, okay? Wellness physique is basically on par with bikini, but it's gonna be a little bit more hard sometimes. And figure, for sure, way more dramatically lean, right? And if we move up the chain, obviously these divisions just get leaner and leaner. Bikini is the least 
um, conditioned division for the women's divisions, meaning that you have to be the least lean here, but you do stuff to meet your conditioning. And by no means am I dismissing the ability for a comp uh, bikini competitor to get to that level of conditioning is still very hard, it's very difficult. It is just in the tier of all the other divisions, the least conditioned division. So it's a softer in general type of conditioning. And basically what they're looking for is that you meet that conditioning. Now, I will say this, based on everything I just said for number one, number two for you, this all really comes down to your physique. And honestly, that's probably tip three I'm gonna say in just a second. So we'll wrap right around in just a minute. So tip number three, it comes down to a few different things, all right? It basically combines number one, getting the right muscle, and combines number two, getting the right conditioning with number three, which is actually pretty much everything after that, which becomes your presentation and your posing. Now, presentation and posing is something that so many competitors put to the wayside. I know a lot of coaches, they when they prep athletes, they focus so hard on just like, hey, eat this, uh, do these weights, do this exercise, that they totally forget the posing element. And posing these days is literally the make or break, ladies and gents. It really has been for a long time, but now it really is more than anything because of the quality physiques we see on stage. Physique quality has gotten better. As things go on, as the sport develops, I mean, go look at bikini back when it started. I even did a video on this. You guys could check my channel. Um, if you go look at bikini when it started, it was a whole different look. It was like basically you could have been uh, any girl that would look decent in a beach bikini on, you know, a beach on a weekend and you could have competed and you probably would have done okay. Now you can't do that. Now you have to follow a whole lifestyle. You have to train hard. You have to eat right. You have to do these preps. You have to do off seasons, right? You have to do all these things because guess what? The physique quality is so much better. So you're going to show up on stage today some days, you know, but you get a variance of physiques. Obviously, some people come in off, some people are not there, some people are right next to you, and it comes down to the minute little points. And knowing how to present and pose your physique, that's number three for getting this hourglass, right? Because if you don't know how to pose right, you're never gonna show the right angles. Posing is a art, basically, honestly, of being able to assess your own physique or having a coach or someone else assess it and say, these are your best angles. We're gonna show those. You wanna exemplify, in other words, your best angles and you want to hide all your weaknesses, meaning you don't show that, right? If you got one side you pose a lot better on, you pose on the good side. If you got a weak body part, an area that's not necessarily up to par, but you're, you're here, you're on show day, try to hide it. Find ways to mitigate it, right? Don't lose your positions when you're on the sideline. Don't lose your positions in transition. Make sure your abs are in, all this stuff comes into play, right? And really, this is what finally tunes in that hourglass on stage for a bikini competitor. Being out there to get on stage rock that pose and get that twist of the upper body make sure that tightens up the waist and make sure the lower body's position and it'll be dramatic what you will really see with the top level Olympians and pros around the world that are doing the best at every show is they are the best posers they're the best presenters physiques when you're at that level especially they're so close it's like minute little details I tell you I talk to all the judges they tell me this all the time it's down to minute little things even at the amateur level nowadays because people come in so good people prep for so so long and there's so much new and better information better coaching out there and basically what it does is it makes it come down to these little tweaks the people that always win shows though you guys will notice this if you won your class if you won overall if you won your pro card you won your pro show you were probably in the top of the best presenters if you weren't the best you were definitely the top two or three in the class in the category period because at the end of the day everything comes down to this posing and so you got to know how to pose you got to know your own angles this is not something you you can just watch a YouTube on and guess your way through. You know, all those things are helpful. Resources are helpful, but you really do need to know 100% what is the best way for my physique to pose? What angles should I accentuate? How do I bring this better? How do I tweak this just a little bit to make it look like that? And all that comes down to you and your physique. And really, at the end of the day, this could almost be the fourth note, but I'm not gonna stop and do that. I'm just gonna go right to it. Keep all this in mind. Whether it's building muscle, getting the right conditioning, or bringing in the posing for creating this hourglass shape, 
everybody's hourglass shape is different. You can't, in other words, look at someone else and follow their plan, their program, any of that. You can't really pay attention to what your friend's doing or what they says. It's generic stuff just doesn't work. Guess why? Any of you watching my channel, you know what I'm about to say. Everything has to be custom for you. Whether it's building the muscle, you gotta know what you need to build, what you need to take down, where you need to increase and all that. And that comes from, guess what? Custom training. And then when it comes to conditioning, how lean do you need to get? Where do you need to bring that in? What's the best way to do it? How does your body actually burn fat? Because everybody does differently. Well, you gotta know how to do that. How do you do it? Custom nutrition. And then when it comes to posing, guess what? Every physique, every athlete, every competitor, every person, period, is different. The way you're gonna have to pose, or how you're gonna show your best, hide your weaknesses and all that. It's all individual and it all has to be, guess what? Custom. It's something I've echoed forever and is the way to be the best competitor to win your shows, to go to nationals, to turn pro, to go to pro shows, to get to the Olympia. Everything has to be custom. It all has to be built for you and that's exactly what we do on Team Flex. And I wanna show you myself. Go to my website right now, teamffelex.com. There's a pop-up. Put your email in the box. This is a subscription to our free coaching trial. Me or one of my coaches, you will work with us free for the next seven days. You get access to our VIP private coaching app that literally only our top athletes and clients get or people on the trial. That's it. It's not for free. You can't get it in the public. It's nothing. This is a VIP coaching experience that's designed to take you from where you are to the next level. The same stuff we give all of our clients, all of our top competitors, all our pro athletes, everybody, the same level of coaching you get it free for the next seven days. That sounds like something pretty good, right? Especially if you're one of these competitors out here trying to build this hourglass figure. We can work with you and show you, hey, here's what you should do for training. Here's how your conditioning should look. Try this for posing. We'll work with you on whatever you need to help you become your best competitor, help you bring in that hourglass shape, help you win your show, get that pro card, go wherever you want to go. It's free for the next seven days. Seriously, if you don't do this, you are not serious about being your best competitor. It's free. It's world-class coaching. Go there right now teamffelex.com. Just put your email in it. It's an instant invitation. We'll see you on the other side. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you for watching the Iron Palace. I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex. Seriously, go to the website. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. I'm Ryan Milton. Coach Rye is out.